Guys, I'm so pumped that you all guys are joining me on my first blog. This is a blog about different trails, different hikes, different places that are outdoors. Uh, how I got started, I just, I've always loved the outdoors and I just wanted to show other people different things, kind of give a review if it's safe for children, if it's not, if it's just more of a solo hike, if it's more how intense is it? Is it easy? Is it, you know, whatever. That's what my goal for these blogs are to do. And also kind of, if we can, give a little history of these blogs and, or not blogs, sorry, uh, history of these trails. Um, there's a lot of history out here in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, so that that's kind of what I want to do is uh, bring two things I love, which is being outdoors and making videos. So. Right here today, we are at Beaver Dam Swamp Boardwalk. Sorry, it's kind of loud. It's right off the interstate here, which is right here. You'll see. That is uh, 565. Uh, so how to get here actually is if you're coming from 65, which is down this way, that 65 gets you to either if you go north, it takes you to Nashville, south, it takes you to Birmingham. Uh, you take off 65, get on 565 by going to Huntsville and uh, you get off at exit seven, which is County Line Road. You take a right at the first light, then you go down the first road, you'll see a big sign that says Wheeler Wildlife Refuge. You take a right there, and then you just follow that road all the way down here. And it's gonna be a dead end like this. And that's the trail right there, that's the trail start. And uh, same thing if you're coming from Huntsville, you just take exit uh, County Line Road, except you'll be taking the left to the right, and then the first right at Wildlife Wheeler Wildlife Refuge. Uh, I'm really excited because I've never been here before. I never really heard about it. I just researched it uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, it's, it seems pretty easy. It's only a mile in and a mile back. So it's just an out and back type thing. Um, it's a big birding trail. Apparently there's a lot of birds out here. A lot of people like to come and go bird watching. So I'm just gonna do um, some running today. I'm gonna run down there. Uh, when I get down there, I'll kind of on my way back, I'll just do more videos so you can see what it looks like. Uh, from what I've heard on reviews is that when it rains, it looks really cool because it water rises and it's a little, because because what it is is you start off on a pave and then you hit a boardwalk and the rest of the trail is just you on a boardwalk. So um, I'm gonna check it out, see how safe it is, see how it is, let you guys know. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I just love finding new things. And uh, so if uh, I'll let you guys know how this goes. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything else for right now. Oh, yeah. I just want to encourage you guys. Get outside. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I'm making these two is to get encourage people to come outside. Uh, reason being is that we've been cooped up for so long. You know, you might have busy lives, jobs, families, all that kind of stuff. Being outdoors, at least for me, is that it gives me a chance to take a break, be peace, uh, get some stress out, uh, just doing some hiking, just enjoying the quiet. Right now, it's not quiet because of the interstate. But once you go deep in there, it'll probably be more quiet. Um, but just relaxing and just enjoying yourself. But also being fit, being healthy, just getting a little exercise in. I think that's really uh, great for everybody, um, especially since this whole pandemic of the coronavirus has made people come inside more. And um, it's just a chance to get out there, you know, and not be couch potatoes. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to get started on this and uh, I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, I just got done running. So I must have read this wrong. Uh, I thought the, it was a mile in and mile out. Turns out it's just all one mile, so that's even better. It's easy, breezy, you run down, run back, that's a mile, or a walk. It's only a mile, so here's my review. I'm gonna walk y'all through it. I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. This is what the first of the trail looks like. So it's just gravel, pretty much, but you can see it's just completely shaded, which is really nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Shaded, cool. So even in summertime, it'll block the sun which is nice, uh, which we're still kind of in the summer. We're getting a fall, I guess, so. But you come down and then you start right here. So walk out here, see the boardwalk. I will say bring some bug spray, that's something I forgot. I know, if somebody else those doors, you'd think you'd remember to bring something. I didn't, I'm gonna attack. But anyways, here's the boardwalk. 
here's what you'll see right here. Sweetest Tupelo honey. Uh, so they call it Swamp Tupelo. Uh, just because of the trees in here, that's what they call them, Tupelo. Um, as you can see, there's different owls, there's ducks, there's a bunch of different things. Um, so we're gonna start right here. Also, I wanna just check out this. It's a national landmark, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this was done in 1974. It's pretty cool. So here we go. Now, today all I saw was one person. Uh, one person and his little kid. They were out here probably just enjoying the nice scenery. Um, getting outside, you know, on Saturday, which is great. Uh, so not a lot of traffic. As you can see, we've had rain a lot these past couple days. But apparently it gets higher than this. It's not much of a swamp. But it is beautiful. It's nice and cool. The trees are huge. They're nice. Everything's just so green, as you can see. I didn't see anything too crazy out here. Actually, nothing at all. Just freaking mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. You don't see a lot of these signs can't go off this thing um, as, as you can see right now you don't want to in this water but at the beginning there's a lot of open land uh, they just they don't want you going off in there so that's just one thing there um, as it goes for the boardwalk uh, it's kind of slick uh, just because of the rain like I said so I would be careful on that if it's been raining and you're coming out here uh, just bring some good shoes you don't want to slip and fall fall off this as I was running I, a couple times I almost slipped which was not have been fun so I would just say just bring some good shoes but you can definitely bring like strollers uh, I mean you can bring your kids here it's just a nice calm walk if you want to take just like a romantic walk between you and your spouse or boyfriend and girlfriend you all want to come out here it's beautiful it's just this nice peaceful quiet as you can tell I, there's not much sound of the interstate out here it's just peaceful you hear the bugs you hear the birds you can actually think out here it's really nice throughout here you'll come along these benches so you have a nice little area to sit and stare at trees but it's nice if you are bringing like maybe your grandparents or someone who can't walk that well just know that there are benches out here so that way you can have breaks and sit down you know it's really nice um, also I want to show you this they kind of slant down sometimes so when it's slick you want to be careful you don't want to fall and hurt yourself uh just be careful I, just if it rains just be careful um some of these places have some rotten edges so i would say just stay in the middle as much as you can um they looks like they have replaced quite a few of them uh so it looks like they've been doing some work on here which is great but just in general i would say just be careful because sometimes it slants down like that to the side and you don't want to fall it would hurt Real bad. been some damage here which is unfortunate uh, looks like a tree just snapped and took out one of the benches but you do have another one right here but uh, yeah this is it this is the beaver dam boardwalk trail pretty nice it's just nice relaxing easy might take you maybe 30 minutes to do the whole thing that's just walking so 
Oh yeah, I, I, I like it. I'm definitely gonna put this in my arsenal of places to take people, just to get outside. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed running it. It was just nice, shady, very peaceful. Um, but I thought, I was thinking it would be more of a challenge. It really wasn't that bad. I, so next time, next week, I'm going to find a little more challenging drill to run and then show you guys what it is. Uh, I have a couple on my list right now and I'm researching more and looking out for more. Uh, so this is it. I would just say this is a very family friendly. This is um, just very easy. Nothing too crazy. Didn't see a lot of animals out here. Just birds, bugs. So bring some off spray or something to watch yourself from that. You don't really need sunscreen because it's just shaded all around. So there you go guys and I hope you um, enjoy this vlog and I hope that you get out there and enjoy nature. I really encourage you guys to do that. Uh, just get your sense of adventure going. I know being cooped up is no fun. So get out there, enjoy nature. I hope that you come try out this trail. If you do come out, let me know and let me know what you think. Or if you have one that you've been to, it could be anywhere, let me know about it. I would love to hear about more ideas, more um, trails out there. I would like to go do some challenges if you have any challenging trails or anything of that nature. So just, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for this adventure. I uh, hope you guys stay tuned for more and I will see you guys soon. Y'all have a blessed one and I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.